We start with Kevin Frazier at Madame Tussauds New York in Times Square with an update on beloved comedian Sinbad, Kev. Yeah, Nichelle, you know, Sinbad had a stroke two years ago and is learning to walk again. Now his family and close friends are revealing the extent of the damage and his long road to recovery. I never go through that woe was me. You can turn your life around like this. What is his condition right now? He's in the process of rehabbing, learning to, to walk and talk, learning to enunciate words and, and get his mobility back. I spoke exclusively today with Sinbad's longtime friend, Phyllis Johnson, after his family released these heartbreaking photos of his secret struggle. The 66-year-old was given a 30% chance of survival. Well, we see him in the hospital on a ventilator. We see him working with the walker at physical rehab center. Was there concern that he might not make it? Yeah, I think I think that's a concern that everybody had. Now he's just, he's on the road to recovery. Why did he decide to tell fans about the condition now? I think, you know, Sinbad's very private. He just wanted to wait until he was ready to be at a place and time where he felt comfortable explaining. Sinbad's family set up a website asking for donations, quote, the cost of therapy far exceed what insurance covers. He had a smooth looking brother at the helm. The star showed signs of the stroke in his last TV appearance on the Donald Glover led comedy Atlanta. The episode aired just four weeks ago. Doing comedy was always crucial to him. It's just like medicine. It keeps me going every day, and I can look at the, the stupid side of anything, and I think it keeps everything perspective to me that nothing is really that serious. The beloved comedian has weathered financial difficulties before, filing for bankruptcy in 2009 and in 2013. I lost something, my life savings was like $4 million. It was all good. Money is made every day. It's your job to go out and get it. His family is now leading that fight, along with the donation website. They're also allowing fans to purchase Simbad's first ever collectible action figure. Proceeds go towards his recovery. There's always a risk of another stroke. Dr. Shelby Halsey, a stroke recovery expert not involved in Simbad's case, tells us comprehensive aftercare is vital. It's going to be a bit challenging, not only the physical, but the emotional. But someone who is extremely motivated, that definitely helps. He's a fighter, and he has all the right people around him. His yeah. wife, Meredith, his children, he's taken all the right steps as far as physical therapy, diet, and everything to keep, make sure that he's ready to go when he steps back out there. He's not giving up. 